Welcome dear listeners. In this video, we shall recapitulate the poem The Dentist and the Crocodile in one go, written by Roald Dahl. In this poem, the dentist is working in his clinic. Suddenly, he faces an unusual patient, a very odd patient, not a human being, but a crocodile. The crocodile takes the seat, patient seat very quickly and he asks the doctor to examine his teeth and find out the fault, particularly at his back teeth. He thinks that his back teeth are decaying, so he wants to get them repaired. But seeing a crocodile, the doctor jumps two feet up his chair. He is not able to take his hold. He just keep on looking at the crocodile. He asks him, okay, you sit and I will look into your mouth. But the crocodile is very relaxed and calm. He is taking fun in his dental checkup. Whereas the doctor is shivering, quacking, he is shaking like a patient and he cannot speak loud even. He finds that all the teeth, 300 teeth against 32 teeth of human being, all the 300 teeth are white, shining and very sharp pointed. He is filled with fear. He starts sweating. Whereas the crocodile in a very relaxing way asks the dentist to come closer. Crocodile wants the dentist to look into his mouth deep inside. He wants the dentist to put his head deep into his giant mouth. Whereas the dentist cannot muster up that much courage to do this horrible act. So he keeps on saying that, no, I can examine your teeth well from a distance. The doctor is sweating and shivering whereas the crocodile is smiling. The poor old dentist wrung his hands and weeping in despair. Minded listeners, wrung is the third form of the verb ring. It means twisted. Ring, rang, rung. So the dentist is unable to wring his hand and he is weeping in despair. Despair means total hopelessness. Very, very, very scared and sad. So he starts weeping because he is very much afraid of the crocodile. While all this is happening, a lady enters the clinic with a golden chain in her hand. As soon as she enters, in humbleness and generosity, the dentist asks the lady to be away from this deadly beast. He bewares her of the crocodile sitting on patient's chair. Whereas the lady takes the things very lightly, she just smiles and snubs or scolds the crocodile. That why is he playing tricks on the dentist again? She lovingly calls him croc. Seeing all this thing, dentist gets amazed and shocked. What is happening in his clinic? He is not able to understand what is going on. Then the lady calls him a twit, means a silly person. She asks him not to behave foolishly. She calls doctor silly. Oh doctor, please don't be silly. And she gives dentist a big smile. She is not at all scared of the crocodile. And then at the last she tells him that the crocodile is totally harmless. The crocodile is that lady's pet animal. Crocodile lives with her only and she calls the crocodile her lovely crocodile. The lady is here in the clinic again to feature the crocodile, to chain the crocodile. Whereas the crocodile is driving fun at the dentist clinic, he is enjoying his temporary freedom. He is playing a trick on the dentist. He is knowingly scaring dentist. 
the crocodile is deriving pleasure out of this scene that's all in the poem dear listeners i hope you enjoyed the poem by rolls dell thanks for watching the video